Hello guys, Game Boy Hub here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Nintendo DS games on your PC. Now in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full guide on setting up the Desmume emulator on your PC. And I'm also going to show you where to get DS games for it and the best settings for your PC. So yeah, let's get started with the video. So once you guys are on your computer, you just want to go to the first link in the description, which should bring you to the Desmume page. Now on this page, you want to go over to the download section and right over here, you just want to click on this top link over here and it should bring you to this page over here. So you just want to click on this to download it and your download should start as you can see down here. So now that you have both of the files on your desktop, you just want to run the Desmume exe file and on this prompt, just click run and your Nintendo DS emulator should open and you can also minimize the command prompt. So the first thing we want to do is make this window a little bit bigger so we can go over to view, window size and then I will select 2x and there we go now this is looking a little bit better. So let's go over to config and then we can click sound settings and if you have dual SPU selected by default you want to select this other one. Sometimes this is selected by default but this one just gives out much better sound so we can just click OK. The next thing we want to do is go over to config and then click 3d settings and if you're using an amd graphics card you want to leave everything as it is right now and just click ok and if you're using an nvidia graphics card you want to select OpenGL like this and you just want to click ok the next thing you want to do is go over to config again and then click control config and now this window should pop up with all of the controls now i already have my xbox one controller connected via a usb cable so to config an input you just want to click on it and it will become green and then you just want to press the button on your controller and then it should map and after you have configured all the inputs you should pretty much be done with the emulator setup so now we just want to extract our game from the zip file and from edge emu you can see you get a bunch of files so what you want to do is just extract all of them like so and you can see that all of these are different regions of the game so i just want the normal european one which is this one and i will delete all the rest and now we can also delete the zip file for the game and the last thing we want to do is just make a new folder and call it nds like that and then move our emulator our game and this file in that folder and now we will always have our emulator inside of this folder so now we are ready to select and play the game so go over to file and click open rom and now you just want to navigate to where your rom is saved so i'll just go to my desktop and then into the nds folder and here is my game now the emulator by default will create a roms folder on your desktop but if you want to you can use this one and if you don't you can just save the game in this folder and delete this one but yeah i'll just select the game and click open And as you just saw right over there, the game is running perfectly fine and the sound is working normally. And if you want to change the window layout, you can go over to view and click LCD's layout. And then you can also choose horizontal, which is the one that I prefer. And it looks like this. And if you want to full screen the emulator, you can just click on this box and it should be in full screen. And yeah, now you are pretty much ready to play the game as normal. So this right over here is your touch screen and you can just use your mouse to control that. And as you can see, we can play the game absolutely normally and it is running completely fine this emulator isn't really graphically intensive so you can play this on pretty much any pc which is pretty cool and also it is working perfectly fine with the xbox one controller that we configured so thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one also please check out my twitter and instagram and i will see you guys in the next video